I added bridges to Minecraft. What's up guys and welcome back to another video where I try to make Minecraft better. So I was trying to mix things up a little bit and come up with something new to make instead of improving existing structures like we usually do. And I thought, you know, it'd be pretty cool if the overworld had some naturally occurring bridges. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I've ever personally seen a mod that does something like this. So this really seems like the perfect opportunity for me to make the mod myself. Now all the bridges you're seeing right now are actually naturally generated from this mod. So if you want to see what the final product looks like and how how we got there, be sure to stick around until the end of the video. So let's get right into it. And by the way, boys and girls, 95% of you aren't subscribed. So if you don't mind, please take a quick second, smash that sub button, hit that like, all that jazz. I'd really appreciate it. All right, so our first order of business is obviously to make some bridges. Now I've put together a couple of bridges here for testing purposes. I know they're not the most amazing things in the world, but they'll just be used to sort of sort out the initial code and make sure everything is working properly before we add some bigger, more impressive bridges. Now, if you're wondering what the stained glass is for, those are used as markers for some post-processing. Each color just represents a specific type of post-processing we want to do on that block. As an example, take the yellow stained glass. This will be used as dynamically generated legs, meaning supports that go all the way to the ocean floor so that the bridge doesn't float. Now, I'm not gonna go over every type of processor because there will probably be quite a lot by the end of this video. We use this technique for all of our other structure mods and there always ends up being a lot of them. But if that's something you're interested in learning about, let me know in the comments below. So anyway, now that we have these bridges built, let's see if we can get these to be naturally generated in Minecraft. Which means, ooh, baby, it's code time. <laughs> uh, okay, so I, uh, yeah, that's not right. All right, so this actually looks pretty good so far. It actually crosses the river this time. It's not just in the middle of it. It looks like it's a little bit offset, so it's not quite long enough. But on the bright side, the dynamic supports seem to be generating all the way down properly. So, I mean, hey, this looks pretty good, all things considered. Okay, so I tried to fix the offset problem, like with the length of the bridge not being quite long enough. And, uh, yeah, I don't... I think the bridges are now spawning over, I think that's a lake like embedded in the wall and the, and the bridge is now spawning over it. And there's also like three bridges spawning inside of each other. I, I got no idea what's going on. So I'm, I'm going to have to spend some time on my own digging through this and, and figuring out how this works. I'll get back to you guys once I got it sorted out. Okay, yo, what's up? It's me, your boy, literally a week later. Uh, it took me a while to get everything sorted out, but I think it's pretty good now. I think the placement is pretty consistently good. As you can see here, we got two bridges that are decent. They go into the wall a little bit, but uh, I think that can be fixed pretty easily. Uh, the only other problem I've seen, yeah, this all looks good. The only other problem I've seen is this actually right here, where it spawns over like a small thin strip of water. But I think this will actually be pretty easy to fix. All I have to do is require the amount of water underneath the bridge to be greater, and we should be good to go. Uh, it's definitely kind of funky right now, but I think these will be two quick fixes, and everything will be set up for us to add some more bridges. And to look at this lineup. So I spent a few weeks making some bridges as well as gathering bridges from the community. Shoutouts to all the community members who provided their own builds. Thanks to you guys, we have a lot of really high quality builds that I think are just gonna look phenomenal in game. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but look how much stained glass I'm using. There are so many different types of processors that I've ended up having to run on this for wood, stone, cobblestone, and like so many different things. I'm not going to lie, it was a lot of effort coding up all these different processors to make these different bridges look good, but I definitely think it's going to be worth it. So anyway, with that being said, let's take a look at the final result of this project, Young's Bridges.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This mod will be available to the public within a couple of months, but if you want to get your hands on it right now, you can join the Patreon at Tier 2 or boost the Discord server. Either one works and will get you access to the mod. So that's it from me. Once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy playing with Young's Bridges.